Welcome to the Homeschool Together podcast. Where one working mom and a stay-at-home dad help you navigate the nuts and bolts of the growing and dynamic world of homeschooling. With a focus on early learners. Like me! All the ins and outs of building and maintaining your homeschool life. Homeschool! Find out tips and tricks to make things like this easier. I'm reading! And ultimately, enjoy educating your kids. And what's that last thing? Have fun together! Did I do good, Daddy? (laughs) Yeah, you did, sweetie. Good job. Hello and welcome back to Homeschool Together. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have a chance, head down into the show notes like always and see all the ways you can support the podcast. Ariel, <clears throat> yo ho, yo ho, pirate's, pirate's life, life for, for me. me. So today we were talking about the Yodo. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I'm giving this, you this look did like... Did you see it? Yodo, oh, Okay, wow. I just... No. That went right over my head. I wasn't even in that. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Well, so we're, I'm going to watch Pirates of the Caribbean with the girls tonight. Right. We are so. pre- prepping for a Disney trip later this yep. year, so we're all in that mode. Yeah, I'm all in that mode. So today we're going to be talking about... Um, <clears throat> Ariel, you got the girls something for Christmas, or... Between you well, and my folks and me everything. Me through grandma, yes. you know, for uh, Christmas. or grandma through me, I don't know. If, you, uh, if you've been listening to our gift guide last year, we talked about this, the Yodo mini players. And the Yodo, yeah. was it the Max player? What, how well, do you even yeah. say that thing? Like so the there's, big player? Yeah, there's, there's two kinds. Basically, the Yodo is uh, an audio player for kids that is card-based. So mm-hmm. you put a little card. It's the size of a credit card, basically. And you end up putting that into the player. And then it will play music, audiobooks, podcasts. It has a variety of things. There's, there's really two sizes. There's, um, there's a mini one, which is probably like... Like a deck of cards, a little bigger than that? Yeah, yeah maybe like three inches by... Four, four by four, something like that. Something it's pretty small. you can small. put in the palm of your hands, like a softball size. Yeah, it's pretty small. Um, so there's the mini size, and then there is a full size one that's larger that um, is what they call the third gen. It's the third yeah. gen of the of the player. So I'll, I'll make sure to put all the show notes and uh, put in the show yeah, notes below. Yeah, yeah, and and so we. We basically, Grandma got the kids a mini for Christmas with a bunch of cards and then uh, quickly realized that that was a mistake, that they each needed one. Yes. So she went to get one and the minis were, there; they were being back ordered. And I think yeah. that they're supposed to come in, I think that they're going to start reselling them again about mid-February. So uh-huh. um, just, you know, know that they're they're back ordered right at this moment. Um, but so she ended up getting one of the third gen ones. So the little one's got the big one. Our, our little one has a big Yodo. And then our older daughter has the mini. Um, so we can really talk about both types. Yeah. Uh, and I anticipated this being something that kids would really love because our older daughter loves audiobooks so yeah. much. And, and currently we have essentially a tablet. It's an, it's an Android cha- tablet we got for like 200 bucks. Uh, it's synced with the library. We use Libby, and she has Bluetooth headphones to go with that. Right. And then for the younger one, we were using kind of a, an old iPad that she could tether a, a a pair of headphones to, and then she could listen to audiobooks or music or stories that might be on YouTube or through Libby as well. And so it was kind of a cumbersome, you know, thing to you know to get them into that like audio s- circumstance. Yeah, I mean, I think the problem that we really identified pretty quickly, as much as the kids love audiobooks, yeah. that's a tablet. Yeah, and right. there's other fun things that can be done on tablets. And so if we weren't watching them every moment, the tablet would quickly get switched over to something that was not what we wanted. Our exactly. little one would be listening to like an audiobook on YouTube. And the next thing we know, she's watching other things. So yeah. it was like, it was really tough for us to control. And there's a lot of temptation there. And it was still a screen. And we've, we found them even just staring at it sometimes. Yeah. So it, what I liked about this is that these are really screen free. The the Yodo Mini has a little like one inch by one inch screen. It's like that, a little LCD display. Yeah, and it just yeah. gives a pixelated image of uh, of like an icon, for example. Like we have some Disney story story cards, and it'll give a little icon for the different characters of each chapter. Yeah. It doesn't move or anything. It's not something that they really watch. The mm-hmm. bigger one gives a larger, but still but pixelated all, image. But it's almost like a dot LED. Almost looks like um like a matrix of, of almost like a almost like a grid in some respects. It's not an LCD like we think. No, it's not at all. It's not that bright. Um, And it's not, 
it doesn't move or do anything else fun. It's no. the, it's just there to like tell them what chapter they're on. Um, so I loved the idea of this being screen free. That was what I really was really digging about it. So in basic, the way that this works is that they have cards and the cards have something embedded in them, which like basically a RFID chip or some identifier, yeah, yeah. some identifier in the card. And then when you scan that with your phone um, and your phone has the Yodo app, it basically links that card with your account and there's certain audio content on that card. So what well, ends up... And then the Yodo goes out to the, the web. All, all these are web-based. This you is need, all web-based. You need Wi-Fi. Right. You connect it through the app. But the minute you put the card in, it goes and sources that that mm -hmm. audio file from the web. And it downloads it. Yeah. So after you've played a card once, then you could take this off Wi-Fi and take mm -hmm. it on the in the car or on an airplane or whatever. There's that little gotcha there, that first time. The you first have, time you have yeah. to be online with the Yodo so that it can download the content. So what's interesting about this is that the in, through the Yodo app, I can also play the content. So we have a card, which... We, 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 we debated a couple of ideas here. We thought yeah. about like taking an old iPhone and making it into like an iPod touch that she could just use with audiobooks. But again, it has a screen. screen we problems, thought yeah. about, oh, we could take a little MP3 player and yeah. she could listen to things through that. But that's really hard for young kids. Like our four-year-old couldn't use something like that. Yeah. So that was really difficult. Well, and those, and those very often will lack the Wi-Fi connection. You can't sync that to like Libby. You can't, it, it becomes like a, a maintenance issue where you have right. to organize the files on the yeah. card and it on, on the, uh, on the little mp3 player and it becomes a little bit more cumbersome and a lot more work for you right it's true and one of the things i had tried to do was i said well how about i just put audiobooks on my phone for us to listen to when we're in the car and for any of you that use an iphone and but our windows pc users those two just don't like to talk to each other Not really. and even though i have many audiobooks from you know long ago i mean i i got the harry potter series i mean i don't remember uh, it i must have had it for over 15 years at this yeah. point. Um, but, you know, trying to copy those files onto my phone and then play them, oftentimes they're not in the right order. I got to no. go through iTunes. It's like a big hassle. It's not super easy and intuitive. Every time I get in the car, it starts over again from the very first <laughs> chapter. So every time I get in the car, it does the do, 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 And it starts Harry Potter, the order of the Phoenix. I'm like, oh my gosh, every time we get in the car um, because it's on my phone. So... It's it's kind of cumbersome. It's yeah. not great. So one of the things I like about well, and this, also the speed at which our daughter consumes podcasts, you're going to be doing audiobooks, this, yeah. or audiobooks. I mean, yeah, I meant audiobooks. You'd be doing this all the time, right? I mean, she'll get through an audiobook every couple of days. Yeah, right. So um, one of the things that I liked about it too was that our younger daughter could just like their physical things. This is a card. They can just like put it in, and then it it plays a thing like old school video game. Yeah, it was I was I was trying to remember we were talking about having those like books. There used to be these Disney books and in the back uh, on the back cover they had a plastic sleeve and they had a cassette tape in there. Mm -hmm. And you could put the cassette tape in and you could listen and then you could read the book. Um and I was like, "What where is the easy stuff?" right? <laughs> So this is kind of our generation's version of something like that where you can do. Now, these aren't sold with books, but they are audiobooks of lots of famous books. I mean, we have D the Disney set, and that's just retellings of all the, the Disney stories, which is great. But there's plenty that you can get that are They seem actually... a little bit longer than, you know, like the Golden Books, if you know how. Yeah. Like, those are tend to be about 15 pages long. They tend to be a little bit longer than that. Yeah, I would say they're maybe double Golden Book length. Yeah, yeah. Because they definitely, I think every story takes... 10, Maybe, 12 minutes, 13 minutes? Yeah, somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes to to read through. And it's chapterized. Um, so, but this is kind of cool because uh, you can buy ones that, that are just, you know, their own standalone thing like the Disney stories or they have some abridgments of classics like Wizard of Oz and different stuff. Or you can buy ones that, that link, that are unabridged versions of books that your kid could actually be sitting there and have a picture book open and it would read the same book. So you can kind of do, it, you know, whichever you want. Um so a few things about it. Uh, it is Bluetooth capable. So we have uh, our older daughter's Bluetooth headphones synced with it. So Perfect. she can listen to it with Bluetooth if we want. Both the mini and the full size one. Um, the full size one's definitely louder, but the mini is loud enough. Like it's yeah. really fine. It's kind of nice for our older daughter because she loves to carry hers around with her. her that yeah, mini, she, she takes go, it everywhere. Wherever she goes, yeah. And the younger one really seems to like the bigger one. It's got a nightlight and some other things. Um, and she really digs that part of it. And she doesn't carry it around with her quite as much. So I think that they're 
they're both good. Um, if you're going to be on the road a lot with it, I think the mini is kind of nice uh, for that purpose. Yeah, that form factor is really nice. Like she, sometimes I don't even know she has it. And she's it's in her hand and she's just right. walking around. One of the things I really like like about it is it has um, full parental control. So yeah. I can see on my phone exactly what's playing on both Yodos. I also can set sleep timers when they're when they're listening. Yeah, talk, talk about this. This is a cool feature because if yeah, you know the, the Yodos are in their rooms, and if we're not there. The auto turns on. Well, and, yeah. and we had this problem. We've had this problem before with yeah. like our daughter had a Google mini in her room so she could and she would ask it to tell her a story at night. And there's like no way for me to other than going into it, seeing it was playing and tapping it off in the Google Home app. Yeah, I couldn't just passively uh control it no whereas with the yodo i can and we have a friend that works at google and we filed these bugs we filed a bug we filed a bug you can't govern the volume on a google mini <laughs> with my phone that's we, all we, i want to do guys we, we've already filed the bug <laughs> all i want to do is tell them that like it. Yeah. it can't go to 11 right yeah. it can't go to 100 percent volume because it's just so loud so one of the things that i can do in the app I can set a daytime volume limit and a nighttime volume limit, and I can set what time daytime and nighttime is. So for our kids, their daytime limit, I made it so that our little one can't turn it up past like 60%. So she can't blast out the room with this thing, which yeah, is right. great because she would. She would. And uh, <laughs> at night, what I said is I set their bedtime for each of them. The volume goes to zero. So even if it were playing... Or even if they woke up in the middle of the night and tried to play it, they couldn't because yeah. the volume is governed at zero until 7 a.m. when the alarm goes off and that alarm plays Yodo radio. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing that these have. This has a radio component and a daily podcast. The radio is really cool because it's it's like a mixture of like kids songs, like Casper Baby Pants type stuff, and then Creedence Clearwater Revival. <laughs> and then it'll go back to Wheels on the Bus. And it's just like... Back and forth, yeah. It's just a, a really cool mix, and it's all kid appropriate. Our kids love to listen to music well, a lot. And our youngest is the early riser, so she, your alarm will go off at 7. Yeah. And like, it's just exactly at the same time she is up she grabs her yodo and she's walking down the hall and it's playing some music and she goes into the bathroom goes to the bathroom brushes her teeth and she brings her yodo oh, back yeah. it's so she's funny because so you're happy. just sitting there going please don't bother me please don't bother me i want 10 more minutes <laughs> <laughs> but she does she loves it so the radio is really cool i love it because the, the kids have been really enjoying yeah. listening to music and they ask google for different kinds of music and often google will misunderstand them or really it's it's user error it's, they'll there's they'll nothing more ask. frustrating in the world than watching a four-year-old yelling at google <laughs> right. because it doesn't understand what she's saying right <laughs> and so and oftentimes what will happen is google will end up playing something that's inappropriate yeah yeah and you know there's no way for us to control that so i really love i'm like if you guys want music unless it's unless i'm there and i can cue it up on the google and i know what's playing i just tell them to listen to yodo radio and well, they're pretty happy and, and a lot we have a google home as well in our kitchen and you can start playing music on there and it plays just the audio track that just has a simple card and sometimes it'll some, play the video and as then well. it'll start playing the videos and then the kids know how to swipe up and go to the next videos or similar videos mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you come back in 15 minutes later and they're both hovering on the thing watching youtube videos on the google home right and, and so no controls whatsoever yeah really i'm sure the, listen i'm sure there's some built-in control maybe that we, we don't know about we fine, but google yet. home google minis these these aren't what we're finding is you know like these aren't purpose built for kids these are really built for like us adults, right yeah, for yeah. adults and so what i what i've we is that what we are yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's last I checked. Um, so what I what we've really come to enjoy about the Yodos is they are really built for the kids. The radio is built for kids. There's a daily podcast that comes on that has like trivia and some Facts fun and, stuff. Yeah, There's yeah. jokes on there that the kids both really like. So this is now the new way that our kids wake up. Since getting the Yodos at Christmas, I, I mean, our kids listen to them, I wouldn't say all day long, but... Mm, a lot. A Our lot. kids listen to them a ton. Yep. They are very popular. We bought silicone sleeves for both of the Yodos so that they're, you know, they're less likely to drop and break. Yeah. Uh, though they feel pretty robust, but you know, our kids can be hard on stuff. Yeah. So I highly recommend getting sleeves and we can put some in the show notes um, for you. But that's the basics about it is you, you purchase these cards. I guess one other thing to detail is that once a card is in your account, you can actually play it from your phone too. Yeah. So if I'm in the car, whether we have our Yodo or not, I can just plug it right into my car speaker system and I can play an audiobook or music or whatever I have on a Yodo card. 
And, and, it, and it knows where your child left off. Exactly. This is yeah. a great feature. So if your kid, like with, with our kids, they swap in cards all the time. If your kid's listening to an audiobook and they pull it out and they put in some music and then they pull that out and they put the audiobook back in, it will remember where they were. That's a really cool feature. Which is awesome. Now, you can change that with your with your custom cards. And we'll talk about make your own cards in a minute. But um, that is a really great feature. So unlike your phone, yeah. <laughs> it will know exactly where you left off and it'll go from there. Um, so this has been really a f- new fun frontier for us and we're finding some great ways to leverage it for our homeschool. Kind of to talk about cards and what kind of cards are available. You can get classic stories and there's some Yoda reimaginings. Like we got a BBC version of the secret garden, which is like a full radio dramatization. It's awesome. Really? That's um, cool. but then they have some, some, uh, original abridgments. Like they have, I think, Wizard of Oz and maybe the Jungle Book. And I think there's a couple more that they've done. So there's some classic stories. There's new audiobooks. They've got uh, and, picture books all the way to chapter books. Yeah, they've partnered with a lot of big producers of, of content. So you don't yeah. have like weird, a lot of times with these type of products, they they just can't get the licensing deals yeah. worked out. And you end up getting like weird second secondary, mm-hmm. you know, plan B type of content. Mm-hmm. They've got nice content here. Like it's not It's not an obscure type of thing. They do. And they have some books that directly relate to the curriculum. So like we've already read Tale of Despero this year, but that's one of the cards you could get. That's cool. Tale of Despero. Um, They have, so they have some really, and they're they're adding new ones every month. I wouldn't say that the catalog is giant right now. It doesn't contain everything, but there are ways to supplement that with custom cards and we'll talk about. Um, But yeah, so there's, there's classics, there's chapter books, there's picture books, there's also... Uh, foreign languages. That's awesome. There are science cards. So there's cards on the solar system and human anatomy and dinosaurs and inventors. They have the Neil uh, deGrasse Tyson astrophysics for young learners or whatever. Um, So there's some good science ones. There's history. There's some ancient Civ stuff and horrible histories. If you like horrible histories, that's on there too. They have, um, I think, four or five cards from horrible histories. Uh, There's music. That's awesome. So these are all cards. And I think... In general, cards range from like seven bucks on up. So it's like cost of a book. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit more probably than the cost of a book. I would say yeah. one of the things that we decided to do was join the uh, Yodo Club, which is ten bucks a month or a hundred bucks a year, and every month you get two credits, and a credit is basically worth one card. Okay. So I think there was last month we got the one and only Ivan, and we got that BBC. Secret, um, Garden, yeah. Secret Garden. I think both of those books were like 13 bucks maybe. So we got them for $5 a piece. And the Yodo Club comes with 10% off of all your other purchases and free shipping on everything. That's nice. So it was cheaper than going to Amazon or somewhere and buying cards. Shipping times were pretty quick too. And they came pretty quick. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Within, within a week. So yeah. um, so that's a great way to get more cards. And, and we found that that was really valuable. If we do it for a bit longer, I might just do the year membership because then you'll spend even less per card. So um, that's well, really cool. Well, let's talk a little bit about the custom cards. Yeah. So make your own cards is I think really where it's at. Uh, you can do the Yodo Club. You can buy the Yodo pre-made cards and they're all great. But being able to make whatever you want, that's where the secret sauce is. Yeah. So the cards are um, basically like 250 to $3 a card, depending on how much, at what size pack you buy of yeah. the cards. So what you do to make your own cards is you upload files from your PC to the Yodo website. To your account, right? Right. So to your account. So like I said, I, I, we own several audiobooks that we've had for a long time. Um, so for instance, I uploaded one of the Harry Potter books, the first Harry Potter book. And, um, all I have to do is you go to the Yodo site, say upload files, you find where it is on your hard drive, it uploads all your MP3s and it puts them there um, as a playlist. One of the things that's nice about it is you can reorder them. So if what, what I have found on our computer and then putting things subsequently on my phone to listen to is that depending on the naming convention mm-hmm. of them, it's like they could be out of order. Yeah, right. The chapters. Well, I can reorder the chapters however I want and make your own card. Um, I can decide whether I want it to shuffle every time it plays. Like I have a, I have a CD of classic Disney songs. And since we're getting ready for this trip to Disney, I wanted our little one to have that. So I, I turned it on to say always shuffle and don't remember where you were. Cause it's not an audio book. Yeah, right. It doesn't have to start where we left off. So each time she puts it in, it will play something different for her. That's cool. Um, so you set up these playlists in your online thing. 
And then you take a make your own card and in the app, you just select that playlist and you tap the card with your, you like, you put it right near your phone, the top of your phone and it like links yeah. and that's it. So it's super duper easy. Um, One of the other things you made was a music card for her, our, our daughter to do her Irish step dance. It was so hard for them to go to the Google and ask her, hey, play that Irish step dance song right. that I need to learn that my, my teacher has given us to, to practice right. on. And it's like, it's hard to get it to come up every time. Right. The teacher, the teachers provided us with this file, the same thing with choir. So we yeah. have these choir um, practice tracks that are um, with the, they're kind of like karaoke tracks, right? They don't have the, the, the vocals in them. And the, the choir teacher's like, Hey, here's the tracks, you, you know, you need to practice them. It's like, I, this is really tough because what we, what we did was we were like having our daughter stand near the computer cause they're on canvas. So yeah. it's not like they're not in like an acceptable way. So it was easy. I downloaded them. I made a, a, a playlist from them and now she has a card. Mm -hmm. She pops it in. Um, like the Irish step dance one's nice. They provided us with two songs and that's about 10 minutes and that's how long we usually ask her to practice. So it's great. Cause it's like, Hey, when you're done with the card, same thing with choir. When you're done with the card, you're done with your practice. Exactly. So it's very easy. Um, the nice thing about make your own cards too is that if you lose a card behind the couch, like, oh, we can't find such and such card we bought. Well, it's in your phone and you can just link it to a make your own card really quick if yeah, you right. want to keep going with whatever they were listening to. Well, and our daughter lost a card almost immediately, right? Right. Yeah. She sure she sure did. She lost it very quickly. Very so quickly. I found it. It was in the couch between the cushions in the back. Right. <laughs> so we recommend getting a case. Some people will actually do these little like um, um, stick on... Uh, more like stick on rings and then they'll put them on a big a ring like okay. a big binder ring Makes type sense. of thing that they can have them on so there's different ways to keep the yodo cards around we we just ended up getting binders that they're the size of credit cards so you can get anything that will hold that size or like baseball cards or something yeah right um any kind of binder like that works really well. Uh, battery life seems to be pretty good too. Like we have not noticed any issues on. Yeah, battery like life. like they've used them, but we have connectors right at their um, ones on their nightstand, the other ones on the kind of a windowsill, and they just plug them in at the end of the night. So I I've seen them yeah. use it most of the day, and no issues. There's no warning. Hey, my thing just ran out of juice yeah. or anything. So like battery life seems to be pretty good as long as you're charging it every night. Yeah. And you know what the other thing I like about it too is that both of them have kind of a digital clock. And, yeah. you know, we're constantly telling them, hey, don't wake up before seven, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so they're sitting there. I, I think the little one is watching her Yoda waiting for it to turn on. And the minute yeah. it turns on, because she comes barreling she out does. of the room. She yeah. is up immediately. And both of them, it's been really great. There's other alarms you can set on there too. Yeah. Like we could set a bedtime alarms. We could set reminders to brush teeth. I mean, there's all kinds of things we could do. We've kept it pretty basic, but the morning alarm has been very good. Well, it's funny because they both know when their Yodos turn off. So it's like, you got to get the bedtime routine going. Well, this is funny. You, you read your story yeah. and you do your cuddles and my the little one loves to say, okay, daddy, it's not yet eight o'clock. Um, can we, can I listen to my story? Yeah, no problem. So we do cuddles while we listen. And the minute it turns off, I'm like, all right, good night. Good night. She's like, okay, good night. Like that's her like cue that yeah. it's bedtime. And sometimes I have, we've been known to get kicked out. Like, hey, hey, you know, they're like, what time is it? What time is it? And we're like, oh, it's 745. They're like, we got to get upstairs. The Yodos are going to turn <laughs> off. Like they're very, they're like in it because they want to listen to their stories. Yeah. Um, so it's been really good for that. The other thing about make your own cards is that you can do your own recording. So Ooh, nice. if you have a small child who wants you to read the same book 8 million times. We, we all know, yeah. We all know. How many times did we read Little Excavator? <laughs> right? Little E working on the lot. <laughs> I know. I, I, yeah, right? Yep. We read it so many times. So not that it's not great to sit and read to our kids, but we know at some point we're all kind of done. Well, and they have this weird... With that one book. <laughs> yeah, they have this weird capacity to be able to listen to the same thing over and over and over oh and over gosh. again. I mean, I can't tell you how many times our daughter listened to the Harry Potter, you know, audiobook on Libby. She's just like over and over and over again. And she had a, she went through it like seven times before she finally said, I'd like another thing. But I'm like, that's six times more than or seven times more than i would it, right. right most of us would just do it once and we're done right but this is great for increasing their active literacy Absolutely. which is fantastic um so yeah you can record your own voice reading anything mm -hmm. um, or you can record your own yourself playing music or whatever you want to do I, so I, i'd love to explore this um you know sort of like a read-along like mm -hmm. can can it help you know a young you know young reader be able to 
you know, listen to their mom or dad read while they, you know, follow along on the book. I mean, I think right. that's kind of a cool thing. And, and since you can record it yourself, maybe like, you know, into your phone, into like a voice recorder, um, you can put in cues and, and ask questions or, you know, ask them to point to something. So while they're reading along, like you could yeah. do really, really fun, creative things in, the, in that respect. You could do anything if you're planning on traveling or your child's planning on traveling. You want to send them with something that has your voice on it. Yeah. You record it right in the Yodo app. So you like click the make oh, your it own button. It it's the, right through oh, the it app. Oh, it has it in the app too. Okay. Yeah, it's all set. So you just record it right there and make it a playlist and then it exists. What's cool too is again, these make your own cards are on your phone. So I don't have to... Like, you know, if I, if I want to listen to anything that we, I don't have to have the card on me, That's it's cool. like, I have a whole range of audiobooks now that exist on my phone as long as I'm connected to Wi-Fi hmm. that, you know, I can get to. So that's really cool. Um, you can, you, you, it has like icons that we talked about yeah. on the, the little one and the big one. You can make your own icons and there's like a Yodo icons <sighs> online that you could customize icons if, you know, that's your jam. You can also do, make your own stickers. We have some links that we'll put in the show notes um, for uh, a mom that does all kinds of make your own stickers so that your make your own cards look like real cards and that's stuff. That's awesome. Because sometimes you can't, you can't buy everything. The Yodo store doesn't have everything. So that's a great way to... Um, to you know make your own cards look look different so yeah, if, if you're fairly techy you can you can almost imagine how far you can go with the make your own stuff you know? yeah they got the, it gives you it kind of opens up to whatever you want to put on those cards she, I mean. she has like a canva template that she shares on That's that cool. site that has got all so you can do, print off like i don't know 12 cards at once or whatever <laughs> on a sheet of sticky paper and then you cut it out and you just stick this vinyl sticker paper onto anyways you can go very wonky on it um, but like we said, we've really enjoyed it for uh, practice for things she has to practice. We have been using it to increase active literacy. We've been using it with our little one. They have, um, uh, first hundred words. Okay. So we've been using it with her and we've really found that, you know, listening to the, there's, there's a few things like there's a story shed, it's a podcast. So podcasts you can do on here too. I guess I should talk about that a little Put bit. Put the homeschool together podcast on your Yodo? Any podcast. So yo, the, hey, hey kids, time to wake up. Mr. Matt's here. <laughs> so the Yodo store has a bunch of podcasts that you can link that are, that are really easy to link to and make your own card. Cool. But you can also do any podcast you want with an RSS link. You just grab the link to it, mm. you put it into the podcast section of the Yodo app, and then you link it to a card. And it keeps like the last 10 to 15 podcast episodes. So for the podcast cards, you definitely need to be Wi-Fi connected. It's not going to download those. So that, That's a streaming. It's a streaming okay. thing. Um, um, is there any capability? You're, you, you, this has been mainly your thing. I, I really just get the fallout of like, no, I want to listen to my Yodo. No, I want to listen to my Yodo. I'm over on the, uh, the, the retail side. You're on yeah. the manufacturing side. Um, is there a way to stream videos or, I mean, not videos, but like audio from video, like a YouTube? Can nope. you point to something like that? Okay, nope. you can't do that. Nope. You can only do podcasts or things that you you own the files to and gotcha. you upload those MP3s. So um, it's nice because that's kind of locked, but it's great if you are listening to Greeking Out or yeah. one of those other podcasts. I mean, right now, I think the biggest her. I think this is going to be our next big thing for our daughter because the biggest hurdle for me in having our kids listen to podcasts is then they got to have my phone. Yeah, right. And I don't want to sit there next to them just so it can play Greeking Out or whatever. <laughs> um, so this is a great way if you have a favorite story podcast that you can go ahead and load it on a card. The That's kids awesome. can listen independently. What we've noticed is a huge increase in quiet time. Mm -hmm. This has been a great reward in our homeschool for our kids to have finished something and then they get to listen. Um it's also something that so has enabled really enabled hobbies. Um, we have some hobbies, you know, whether it's choir and singing, sewing, violin, um, basketball, uh, Irish step dance. She has a bunch of things she has to do. And a lot of those activities, um, she kind of doesn't do well because she, you know, she's just doing it to do it, right? But I've now given her the opportunity to listen to something while she's doing it. And I've, I've gotten a lot more um, excitement out of that so like mm -hmm. when she's doing her basketball or if she's working out or if she's doing her irish step dance she loves the fact that she can listen to things while she's doing it she's and, a very big auditory yeah, learner it, it used to be like um hey i need you to do 10 minutes of basketball and it was like i got two <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah and it's like now i'm getting like 10 but it's really more like 15 because she's getting to listen to her audiobook while she's doing it and she's really happy to do that she you know she could do the physical activity while still engaging her brain she likes that that's something that our daughter loves to do and that's 
the Yodo has been a nice feature for that. Yeah, it definitely has. So for your make your own files, there's lots of sources. Obviously, your own, you know, your own CD collection. I we had like a ton of CDs. Yeah, we got rid of them all. I think I think just recently. No, I think they're still in a box in the garage. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, so we still have all these CDs and I mean I burned them to my computer a long time ago, yeah, right? right? And yeah. I had lots I had Disney CDs and I had all kinds of things. And, and now we all have computers that don't have CD drives. So. Well, yeah, I actually now we have a portable CD drive wait, that wait, plugs wait. in. We we might have listeners who don't know what CDs are. <laughs> yeah, no. Um so no, really like if there's some twenty something parent right now they they only know streaming. All right, guys, there used to be these things called compact discs. Oh gosh, Sony <laughs> No, not not the big round ones that everybody likes. Oh, now. those are vinyl. Those are vinyl. That's like it, they'll come back again come when back. we're like sixty oh, CDs. That's right. Come Every, back. Everyone's gonna be sitting there, and, and we'll we'll see like some eighteen year old kid go, "Hey man, have you ever seen this thing called CDs? Oh yeah. Oh, Ooh, the sound quality so much better. Guess what? I've got this black market mini disc player. <laughs> oh my god." <laughs> And we'll be sitting there, you know, the cane going, oh. I used to buy CDs back in the uh, day at the well, store. Well, our CD collection is huge, and I burned them to the computer, and so I have all kinds of music. I have some audiobooks. Yeah. It's great that I can reuse those. So your own CD collection is a great one to, as a great source for Make Your Owns. You can also, any audiobooks that you buy, look y'all at like Goodwill, Value oh, Village, yeah, that idea. kind of place, you know, because because audiobooks are really affordable. Check the CDs, make sure they're Especially not scratched. Especially CD, CD uh, audiobooks, right? That nobody wants them anymore. Exactly. Yeah. So you can find all kinds of stuff. And then all you need to do is get a portable CD drive, that, you know, USB plugs into your computer. You can rip those down with yeah. a variety of programs. Um, and then you can put those on and make your own card. So definitely look for used audiobooks. We have a homeschool consignment store near us and they have tons of those. So next time I'm there, I'm going to go look. Um, you know, podcasts we talked about. Mm -hmm. you also your curriculum provider may have an audio version so for those of you who are using torchlight for level one Mm -hmm. they have curiosity chronicles the reason i didn't buy curiosity chronicles is i didn't like i didn't want to have to read the conversational back and forth nature of it Mm -hmm. but i heard it's a terrific audiobook so maybe you go ahead and just do that get it that way and then you can put it on one of these cards and you guys can listen to it as part of your. you can listen to it as part of your homeschool you can listen to it when you're driving or the other great thing you can do is you can purchase audiobooks from a number of places, right? Like, so mm-hmm. Audible, if you're in, an Audible is owned by Amazon. So the way that works is like there's a normal membership where you can stream things. And then there's a premium one where you actually get a credit a month. And that credit can be used to, to download an audiobook. That's what you need because you need to actually own it yeah. so that you can put it on and make your own card. So you can get them that way. There's also uh, other options. Downpour is another good one. One of the things to look for on things like Audible or Downpour, if you're going to use this credit system, look for collections. Mm -hmm. For example, I went on there and I was looking at the whole uh, Ramona Quimby series. It's like eight books. It's something like $35 on both Downpour and Audible. It's Mm -hmm. one credit. Uh-huh. So I think downpour is like twelve ninety nine a month maybe, and I think Audible's fifteen a month. Um, so yeah, for twelve ninety nine, I could get eight books That's that awesome. I could own. So yeah. really, I think if you're gonna go for something like one of these services, you want to look for collections because you really get the most bang for your buck with a collection. Exactly, I've noticed that with um, buying books that used now, I'm starting to look for books that have like ten books in one, like early readers and things like that. Right. Like you buy the one reader, it's a buck. I can go buy. 10 books in one. I just got one that's um, Dr. Seuss books or whatever. And um, the, the off, the off, the offshoot, like the P.D. Eastman ones, right? Yeah, yeah. Like are you or, my mother or whatever? Are you my mother ones, yeah. And it, it wrote 10 in one. It cost me $4. Like I got yeah, 10 books. Now. That was much better. Another option is to go for something like, um, there's a, a site called Libro FM, which is the same thing as Audible, except that all of your purchase benefit purchases benefit small independent booksellers. Mm-hmm. So when you buy it from there, you can designate a bookseller in your local area and part of the funds benefit them. So that's a great option if you want to support independent book shops. Um, and again, look for those collections because I think you really, you really uh, do well for your money with those. Uh, and then there is a number of free sources. And this is something exciting I really wanted to tell you all about. Um, the first one we want to talk about is Story Nori, which they, um, it, they have a podcast, but they also have a website. Really great for fairy tales, really good preschool stories. They're called Smart Story, Small Stories under the Fairy Tales uh, banner. They have history stuff. It's all free. You can download it all. So that's terrific. 
The other one is LibriVox, which is... Yeah, I was just I was just about to bring that up. I was like... Yep. Yeah, was LibriVox tough. is great because this is all your public domain books. So, yeah. for example, we and, and they're read by volunteers. So, for example, if you're doing Blossom and Root, you can get all of the Beatrix Potter set. It's free because it's all open source mm -hmm. and you can download it and put it on make your own cards. And then you can get, you can also get the Burgess animal book mm -hmm. if you're doing blossom and root. So for those of you blossom and root early years families, this would be great for you. You can get Aesop's fables, old fairy tales, um, all kinds of classic literature, Dracula, and, yeah, yeah. and I saw The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and Fan of the Opera. I mean, there's all kinds of old... Sometimes the books are read in, as a collection of readers, like they'll have like four or five readers across Those are the, the best. Yeah, there's kind of, it's kind of a fun thing. Some of them are, you know, they're hit and miss here and there on some of the more obscure books, but on the really famous classic literature, they get some really good audio readers. Yeah, they, they do. And so, and a lot of these are volunteers, and on LibriVox, you can actually listen to a sample before mm -hmm. you listen to the whole book. Definitely. You definitely download it to your PC. Then you upload it to Yodo, make your card. You could have the whole thing done in under 10 minutes. That's so, awesome. Really cool. And the cool thing about make your own cards is you can write over them as many times as you want. I guess that's the other thing I should say is, so you're paying two fifty three bucks a card. Um, I don't personally put big stickers on them to make them look super pretty because I want to write over them over and over again. So I use painter's tape yeah. and I put it on there and I Sharpie write on the painter's tape what it is. And my kids seem to be fine with that. Yeah. Um, so the other one is Lit to Go, which is, again, public domain books. This is from a University of South Florida, and they have lots of... Um, go Bulls. Yeah. They have lots of... This is all public domain as well, but it looks like they have some really high-quality readings of these, so that would be a good one to go. And we're going to put links to all these in the show notes so you guys can look. Um, the other thing you can do is you can go to the publishers. Mm -hmm. So some of the publishers will actually put audio versions. So, for example, the Little Blue Truck, if you have kids that love the Little Blue Truck. Never heard of it. Yeah. You can download like three of the Little Blue Truck books. Wow. And it, on the publisher's website, it's free. So you could download those, stick them on, uh, make your own card, and then, you know, your kid can listen and, and follow along. That's awesome. And we should say, too, with these make your own cards, uh, I did forget to mention like how big they are. They can hold 100 tracks and they can hold 100 megabytes for a single track. Um, and they say 500 megabytes or five hours of total um, total listening time. That is not accurate. <laughs> the The megabytes is closer. I, I've, I've done one that was 587 megabytes and that was fine. Okay. And it did the whole story. So I think the megabytes is the one to really care about more because that that book was 10 hours. Yeah, right. And it was fine. Yeah, the megabytes is a consequence of how dense, uh, how much data is running through it. Like when yeah. we do our audio exports, I, I have it set to so that like, you know, our the thing you're listening to right now is like 60 megabytes when it's pumped yeah. out. Yeah. So when you rip down those, you know, audiobook CDs that you have yeah. or you find at Goodwill and you purchase, just make sure that, you know, you're going to keep the whole thing you know, probably under 600 megs that's, is what I would say. So guess, yeah. yeah, if you read these on the website and be like, oh my gosh, it only takes five hours. I can't put, you know, a no. whole book on there. Like I could put a whole Harry Potter book on there and that's like 14 hours. So, yeah. so it's fine. Um, it's really, it's about the megabytes. Uh, there's also independent readers of public domain books. I've, there's a great one in here and we'll link it. There's a great independent, um, like a, a voice actor who did Anne of Green Gables and Anne of Avonlea, and they have they have like sound effects and oh, that's it's, cool. and it's a dramatization of the whole thing. It's wonderful, and I've already made a, make your own cards for those. It's super great. Um, lastly, you can get free content by using Amazon promotional credits. So your whole no rush shipping and you get two dollars or three dollars. Usually we're thinking of that as the next way to rent the next Mission Impossible movie on Prime Video. But Absolutely, why not? <laughs> you can use it for digital downloads of music or audiobooks. Just they have to be MP3. So you can't use it for Audible stuff. So mm -hmm. that doesn't work. But you can use it for uh, music is a really easy one. And some audiobooks are offered in MP3. So you might look and see if the audiobook that you want is offered in digital download because that's a that's a really great free way to get downloaded content that you can use for make your own cards. That's awesome. Why well, I, I think the Yodos have been re, re, like, overall we're pretty happy with them. We've had them for we're about really happy with two, them almost a month and a half now. Yeah, and and I mean the kids, the kids use them like crazy. Yeah. They are 
uh, we well worth it. Yeah, we have them on several times a day. And we didn't put the disclaimer up front. We're not getting paid by Yodo. No, we're not. We're not. We do have a ten. Well, where's those big Yodo bucks? <laughs> yeah, right. I want my Yodo bucks. We do have a a ten percent off link, so we'll put it in the show notes um, for anybody that wants to order anything from their site, um, and then you can get ten percent off, which is great. And I have a couple other links we'll put in here about how to link podcasts if that's something you want to do. Yeah, and other sources of free Yodo card content. So far, we have been really happy with these. It is a great screen-free way. And I'm I'm now looking for like, what can we add for our homeschool? I want to pick up the Horrible Histories ones yeah, from yeah. there. Um, they're adding more content all the time. And, and if I can get, you know, rather than us sitting around and having to read a book, we can, I mean, it was funny, we, we got an audio book the other day through, through Libby, and you were able to sit and paint and do things with the kids while you all listen to the audio book from yeah. the curriculum. I mean, so, so, sometimes there's a little yeah. bit of fatigue on reading. Like yeah. right now we're doing India um, and ancient histories and we're on the second second week of that. And it's been great. Um, but we've been, we were reading a book that just kind of dragged a little. And yeah. it's just like you get, we've all been there, right? You're yeah. reading the book and the kids love it. That's the hard part, right? My daughter's loving it. It's like, pounding on the table for some more yeah. and you're just like i can't bring myself to read <laughs> this book anymore and we've all been there and and this is a great way to kind of like offload a little bit of yeah. that work especially you know when you're doing multiple kids and you're like reading to one and reading to another sometimes you can alternate and say okay i'm not going to read this chapter to you tonight but i'll listen to it with you because i just I've been reading all day. Yeah. You know, I've just been, you know, you're reading History Quest and then you read, you know, a, a, another few books. You read some chapters here. You're doing your reading work and it's like your eyes are burning. It's like, <laughs> I just don't want to do any more reading. It's just yeah. like not my thing. And so this is a great way to kind of offload that. Right. So what I'm going to be doing now, now I'm like my eyes are peeled, <laughs> going to be going and thrifting. And, yeah. and another great place to thrift for this stuff is used bookstores mm -hmm. because like you said, a lot of people aren't looking for CD-based audiobooks and definitely kid-based CD audiobooks. I, I'm not sure that children's stuff is going to go even... It's, I'm sure you're going to have access to that. So we're going to be on the lookout now, yeah. as should you, for great things that we can turn into Yodo content. And as we find cool podcasts and things, we'll make sure to bring them up and let you know. But we wanted to share this with you because it's been pretty revolutionary for our homeschool to have this as a an option for our kids to be able to listen to and learn from. Thanks so much for joining us today and making us a part of your homeschool journey. Please engage with us on social media. Join our Homeschool Together podcast group on Facebook and find us at Homeschool Together podcast on Instagram. We'd love to hear your feedback, questions, and recommendations. Until next time. Happy homeschooling!